So thank you for your interest in the Goulburn Murray Resilience Strategy. We, the region came together over the last 12 months to think about what the lower water future for us means. The lower water future through climate change, through intervalley transfers to agriculture downstream of this region, and also for environmental recovery. That's impacting on our agricultural base here, which impacts on our economy and our society and our communities. We originally framed this in the context of developing a master plan for the irrigation district, which had a lot of comfort with policymakers. But as we get into our first workshops, the audience was very frustrated that we were doing the same things again. They'd been to too many forums with the same structure, with the same SWOT analysis leading to the same outcomes and the same, the similar process. And they'd seen the outcomes of those processes not hit the mark before and fail to bring about the change that everybody had articulated that they needed. Hence, we came back to the group um, a few months later and framed the well-known challenges and opportunities for this region in the context of resilience thinking and reframed this entire piece from a master planning process to a resilience building piece for the landscape, the economies and the communities of the Goulburn Murray District. The resilience approach that we're taking in the Goulburn Murray region is based on Australian and international systems thinking and research. And it's about acknowledging that we can either drift along and accept what comes our way in the future, or we can do things to shape our trajectory. Resilience is misunderstood by many people in communities and government and business, so much so that it makes some of us flinch when we hear it because of the way that it's been applied in negative ways. Resilience is not about dogged survival and blind acceptance of the negative or destructive. It's about being prepared to cope with known and unknown challenges, taking advantage of the opportunities associated with change and knowing where and how to intervene in the system that we call the Golden Murray region. The strategy is being driven by local leaders across the Golden Murray region who wish to collaborate with government and each other to develop the resilience in their region. It's very much place-based and we find it really useful to talk about it in terms of this iceberg model. It's a useful way of thinking about the spectrum of resilience from persistence through adaptation to transformation. As communities, government, business, wherever we are as humans, we tend to work above the waterline responding to the immediate impacts of shocks like fish kill or a bushfire or a global pandemic. But unless we work below the waterline, these shocks will continue to impact us and present because we aren't dealing with the root cause. This insight's familiar to effective policy makers, educators, scientists, who know that changes to worldviews and design of systemic structures leads to profound and long-lasting effects in a system. It's easier and faster above the waterline, but we know we need to do the harder things to make significant and lasting change in the Golden Murray region. However, it's a complex system. The changes that we make will have unexpected consequences, some good, some bad, which is why the Golden Murray region is basing its approach on well-researched re resilience principles. I think once we put that iceberg model up in front of the room in our second meeting, there was new energy in the room and people could look at that resilient spectrum of thinking and activity and really understand where they were and what, how they'd been acting um, in, the, in the midst of familiar challenges and opportunities for some time. On the back of that wave of new energy about confronting the well-known issues in a different way, we developed a set of regional resilience principles based on world's best practice and leading thinking about what makes a resilient community, what makes a resilient landscape and economy, and tailored these to make sense for Northern Victoria, for the Goulburn Murray District in a place-based way. We see this as a no regrets policy development framework. It's endorsed by the community and it's specific to our region. We really see that there is no downside to developing policy in broad alignment with these resilience principles. And as you can see, that is quite contrary to the approach of a master plan design. This helps us get over that policy hubris piece that is, we've fallen into before sometimes, where a future, a likely future is overdefined by government, by policymakers, by different uh, leaders within communities. And guess what? We're pretty bad at really accurately um, picking the likely future. So when that happens, we're sending false signals to individuals and enterprises and everyone trying to work in that region and there's lost effort, there's lost time, there's lost money and we don't get the change that's needed. We need to take a broader view based in resilience. That brings us now to the role of government and what we need government to think about and how to support this. 
critically for us, we see avoiding the policy hubris of over-defining the likely future and sending false signals to private capital because it's not going to be exactly right. And it doesn't take much to wobble off center to, be, to lead to quite perverse outcomes. We need government and a welcoming policy environment that has a much, much deeper level of comfort with uncertainty going forward than it has in the past. We need less prescriptive and narrowly defined policy development. And we need broadly decision makers, regional bureaucrats and, and other people that we need to collaborate within the region to have that understanding of why we're trying to confront these challenges and opportunities through a resilience lens, that welcoming and receptive policy environment and framework where we can all get on the same page about preparing ourselves for a wide range of possible futures. Thank you.